No team likes to enter the postseason drop of their final two games, but the Duluth East Greyhounds are just built a little different. Coach Rhett McDonald patrolling the sideline with some heat on. And speaking of heat, this young man was on fire, Michael Kostelik. First of his six threes on the night to give East an early lead. Then East moving the ball around. Kostelik dumps it into Patrick Smith. Smith finds a wide open Rocco Paulson. Bold move strategy. Bold strategy. Caught and to leave. I butchered that, but whatever. East extends their lead. East up double digits. A rare miss three from Kostelik. But Paulson slaps it out. Kostelik. Euro step in the lane falls. Dylan Bomet would add a couple threes a few minutes later. East uses that strong first half to advance to the section semis with a 78-61 win. Now we head over to Denfeld for the 7-3A quarterfinals. Number three, Hunters hosting the number six, Hibbing Blue Jackets. Early in the first half, Hunters up by six. Morneris Ferguson down the lane. Tough layup through traffic. Hunters up 15-7. Next, Hunters possession is the freshman. Lee Brooks catch and shoot three. Cash. Denfeld up nine. And then that's when the Hunters got hot. Mace Brooks. Passes to Aiden Altona. Altona from the corner. Three balls good. Denfeld goes on a 21 to nothing run to put up 50 before the half. They win this one in advance of the section semis with an 82 to 40 win. What a freaking day of basketball. And take one last look at the Class A quarterfinals before we officially turn the page to front.